Good morning, traders. It's Monday, March the 11th. Taking a look at the charts, we've got the SP500 daily chart. You can see here we've got these support and resistance levels drawn on the chart. These are just simple uh, floors and ceilings where the market is going to kind of uh, move between and find support or resistance depending what side of the line they're on. More or less, we came down, we tagged it um, on Friday. We saw the market flush down and have a bounce back up on the SP500. Uh, most of the indexes uh, bounce back up here and overall we're kind of holding flat here We'll see if it can get some traction, but overall we are looking for continued downward momentum down to the lower end of this range uh, If we take a look at the Nasdaq a little more tech heavy um, We've got these sloping highs There's potential for the Nasdaq to continue to really pick up speed and have a, a washout low um, if we look in at the uh, short-term price action we've had a high volume drop a little consolidation we're stuck under both the five day and the 20 day and uh, at any point here if this if this momentum uh, can continue uh, we should find resistance here at these ma's and we should start to see another very quick move to the downside so we'll see if that starts to unfold and uh, we start to see volatility in the in the vix start to spike and for it to start to head towards this blue level um, overall if we take a look over at the uh, the safe havens like bonds bonds had a move up last week as equities were moving down uh, this morning they're pulling back a little bit they're finding support at the five day stuck under the 20 day overall money moving into bonds and also we saw on friday uh, gold silver miners had a big pop more or less it's an oversold pop it was forming a little formation here uh, we were hoping it was going to just pop and continue to break to the downside but overall we got an exhaustion kind of pop to the upside lots of short covering being a friday everyone kind of getting uh, out of their shorts and it just created this uh, very strong pop. Hopefully we continue to see this momentum kind of fizzle out. We talked about we could very easily see a pop to the 3, 1300 mark, which is right where it popped to, potentially even up into this 1310 still. Uh, overall though, we do have a buy a negative bias on, on gold where we think it could continue to move down with a, an ABC correction. So we see the price move down and then it forms a, a little bear flag here and then it continues down kind of flushing out this low and coming down to test another significant low in the past. And that would definitely cleanse uh, gold. It would give us uh, our targets that we're looking for to the downside, somewhere down to the 1260, potentially even down to the 1240, which is down over here, which is this other significant pivot area in the market. And an ABC correction would definitely uh, cleanse the water and, uh, and get it set up for potentially the next run back up to this level where it could eventually break out and continue to go higher. If we take a look at uh, gold miners, you can see the gold miners, obviously miners usually outperform physical gold. So they percentage wise had a very big pop up to the 20 day moving average, uh, getting into right in the middle of all this consolidation through here. We'll see how uh, that market performs uh, this week. Looking over at energies, natural gas down two and 2.8% uh, this morning. Uh, continuing to pull back. We talked about it, how we were bullish last week. We're looking for a pullback potentially down to this 270 area, which would be right along the upper side of this uh, basing formation. We played this play down here. We got long on this day. We got out on this day. Now we're letting it work itself out. It's still bu bullish bias. If we get down to this 270 area uh, on a flush down, it might be an opportunity for us to uh, stick a toe back into the water. We are expecting price to run back up to the three, maybe even the 315 area uh, going forward. So we'll see how that starts to unfold. Looking over at crude oil, up three quarters of a percent. Uh, continue to, to ping pong around between these, uh, the support floor and ceiling. If we look at the big picture, we went uh, big sell off, built a base, and now we're forming this big, you could argue here, this is a large cup and handle formation. And uh, looks like if it pops to the upside, we should see it go all the way up to this next level here, which goes back on the chart uh, previously a long time ago as a significant resistance area. It's the uh, around the $62, $61.90 area to the upside. So it is starting to actually look really bullish. If it starts to break and pop, uh, we may want to uh, uh, stick a toe in the water in anticipation of this move. The trend is up. Trends are more likely to continue than they are to reverse. And uh, we'll see how, start, how it starts to unfold here. Overall, the high volume spikes seem to be buying volume. On balance volume line here is continuing to hold up. So it is being accumulated. And uh, we'll see how things unfold here going forward. Anyways, uh, let's take a quick look at our two other uh, positions here. Dust, obviously, it's an inverse to the gold miners. So as the miners pop, 
dust came back. We'll see if we can get some traction and start to see this move up. We are getting lots of volume in these uh, three times ETFs. You can see uh, big volume, uh, elevated volume compared to these lower levels back over here. Usually we see big volume during big turning points in the market. So hopefully we'll start to see uh, this down kind of trend line here start to be uh, broken. And uh, we'll hopefully we'll start to see this next level here be broken and we'll find a support level here. And it can start to work itself up and potentially have a, a pop in price um, going forward here. Uh, last but not least, take a quick look at the VIX. Here is the uh, the VIX, obviously trying to carve out a bottom here. It's uh, had a, a good pop there the, really last week. We had a couple good pops in the VIX. Doesn't look like much. It's dwarfed compared to these higher elevated prices. But if we go back in time here, we are getting close to potentially another big pop in the VIX. I think uh, up into the low 20s, somewhere up into the, the 21, 22 area. That could uh, be that flush out low in the equities market uh, maybe this week or next week. Equities market always has a way of dragging itself out. Market, uh, you, you expect a quick momentum move. Sometimes it drags out to be uh, several weeks. It's just the way the market moves. You never know how quickly something will move, but you got to get it into position to catch the trade. So it's, uh, it's just the way trading is. Anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye.